Good morning. Thirty seconds ago, I had a whole bunch to say. I've already done a video for the other platform this morning. It not like a planned video, like any of them are, right? Um, ranting about the education system and how it's failed us all. Excuse the nose. It's at this point inevitable. Um, so I was thinking maybe I'm going to make bread. Beat the crap out of some bread. And then I was thinking, ooh, what should I cook the bread in? And then I was thinking, ooh, the cake pan is clean. I cleaned that out yesterday. Of the last dump cake. Um, it either turns out great or it's just bad. The last one was bad. Um, <coughs> excuse me. <coughs> And then I was thinking, well, I could use that container and try my hand at making a small batch of focaccia, right? You need a, a wider container so you can do the folding thing with the oils. And I have a tiny oven, right? So I've got to think about that. And then I, but I don't know, it's weird. I've got to find different containers or different pans to use in the tiny oven like I have some but it's just it's never quite right I think the bread the other day it looked beautiful beautiful stunning the buns actually came out the best even though they were wrong but uh, the bread itself like the loaf of bread <sighs> I, I, there's got to be a way you know, different breads are cooked different ways. So there's got to be, I've got to be able to figure out a way to make it in the tiny oven. Because really, the tiny oven's still way easier than trying to figure out how to use the cast iron pot inside of something on top of the stove. Just sounds crazy making. Trust me, I tried it a couple times. It kind of is. It's not so bad if you don't mind cutting off the bottom of your loaf, right? Then, you know, I actually, I probably should have got a video of that. Because it looked, again, looked pretty. But the bottom was black and needed to be cut off completely. Some of it was actually edible. I'm so sorry about the facial leakage. It's not from my eyeballs. So sorry about that. Um, yeah, so I don't, I don't know. I've done some dishes clean the counters. No doubt that freaking cat is up there right now enjoying said clean counter. Anyway, anyway, it doesn't matter. It's going to happen. Just deal with it. <sighs> Education system. That's right. That's what... <sighs> the only reason that I believe in science it is not because I went to school for it, but because I read it. Not actual textbooks or anything. To, I'm not, I'm not that kind of weirdo anymore. I, there was a time where I read any textbook that I got my hands on. I've even bought a couple. One of them was an art book. I still have it um, from college. Not, I didn't buy it from a high school kid or something. That'd be really weird. Why was I? Yeah, that just the whole segue there was bad. Sorry, didn't mean to freak you out. There's outdoor kitties inside. They've had their breakfast and now they're getting out of the sprinkles. Which it doesn't sound like it's really sprinkling out anymore. Anyway, oh, brain is all over the place. Um, I'm really tired of people thinking they know... It's not even, see that's, and I, I get stumped on my own reasoning behind this. Because it's not because they lack the education, it is part of it. But thinking they're entitled. Yeah, 
that makes it sound like that's a complete sentence. It's not. Why is that like that? Somebody cut my container. It was not me. Why would... Jag it. Yeah, my brain's in multi-directions this morning. It's, uh... It's not an easy day. It's not been an easy weekend. But it hasn't been an easy year. Or three. Because, you know, we're going on three now. Three. So it's really easy to rant that, you know, if people were more educated and able to understand the basics of of anything. My goodness. Oh. The round and around and around questions and answers and refusing to listen or believing that, you know, all the conspiracies instead of being able to go, mm, well, maybe I'm wrong on this one or this part of this one or whatever it is. But no, no, no. That would mean growth. That seems to be something that everybody has an issue with. Even the ones that are, you know, pretty sure they're woke. Until you touch a little nerve. And then, wow. Like this dude. This dude is like such a cool dude. With lots of good thoughts and things to share with the world. And until it comes to cheating. And that's not a big deal. Everybody cheats. It's really not. Everybody cheats. I went and looked it up. It's like 26% of men and 13% of women in, in the lower ages, you know, early 20s or something. And then as they get older, both numbers, both numbers fall. But the women only by like 1% or something and the, the dudes by a few. I can't remember. It, I looked it up and then restarted my phone because something else was an issue and then lost it and never thought to open up the page again. But it should be there somewhere, I hope. Anyway, it doesn't matter. It really doesn't matter. Um, there was more that I needed to look up on, on the idea of cheating and because somebody used a term when it came to a big drama thing and it resonated and now I've already been baking and not bread and the term is right out the window or the year I guess Whoop. Um, informed consent it is a medical term that needed to be made that's a whole other gross disgusting topic doctors the whole th oh they're bad they're bad you know they're bad but anyway it wasn't to do with that it was to do with cheating just cheating and in my opinion, informed consent should be a thing to do with SA, capital S, capital A, um, S-E-G-G-U-A-L. Have to re have to spell things wrong in the other platform, and that makes and some things are just. Anyway, essay, not writing a paper. Stop it, right, okay. Um, I'm rolling myself a smoke. Uh, informed consent, there we go. Just had to catch the thought again. I think that it is a thing and it should be a thing because I remember mid-80s. I was essayed 
mid 80s. I was taken advantage of mid 80s. We had medical emergencies mid 80s. Some of them involving blood products mid 80s. Okay? And maybe if I'd looked into it, I'd be able to make the correlation. Maybe that's why they had to make informed consent a thing for the medical field. I don't know. That's just a guess and my brain bounced and I thought I'd share mid-sentence because that's what I do. Anyway, so maybe it's because I was there and survived it that I think, I believe that that should be something when it comes to essay today. If somebody tells you they haven't been with anybody and on that information, you decide to have unprotected sex with that person, believing what they tell you. If they lie about it, that is putting you at risk. Four things, mid eighties, still as well as the panini we are in now and everything in between. So I think it's a thing. And for a man to just pass it off as, you know, well, everybody does it and boys will be boys. Boys will be boys only if they're taught that. And if men held other men accountable, for their, I don't even know how to word that, lapses in judgment. Maybe it wouldn't be 97% of women been a year, a year ago, I knew it was hot before then. The first time I heard a stat that I, I remember clicked in my head. I had three out of my four kids. Around that time is when I found out that I was pregnant for the fourth. And I, I don't remember if it was Crown Council or if it was somebody from Victim Services. But somebody told me it was one in four. That's not right. That is very much incorrect information then or now. I have all these words bouncing around in my brain. It's not helping me say them.
the systems against everything and we have to start somewhere and men holding other men accountable for their actions is a start and it seems like such a long distance between what everybody assumes to be a violent act being the only true act it's not and cheating that's that's a big divide there or seems to be except for you you're still taking another person's life in your hands. All you have to do is not lie about it. And then the other person can make an informed choice. Anyway, we all have things. We've all made bad choices. But to stand up and just be so adamant publicly, hundreds of people, not thousands, I actually didn't go look. It's become painful when that person comes across my FYP. You think, oh, we'll just block them, right? It's that easy. Except for it's really not. Not because I don't want to see their content or their faces. <laughs> <clears throat> Sometimes it's about holding out hope to watch growth. And that person, there's this little glimmer of hope. It's going to sound stupid, but their face went red the last time when they were trying to talk about it in their video. And to me, that's their brain is thinking whether they want to or not. They're not, their mouth isn't ready. Their mouth is not ready, but somewhere in there, there is a different thought process bouncing around. How did I start this video with talking about bread? It's going to make bread. Remember loaf pan? I need new pans. Wow. It's because it's nonstop. And if it's not one thing, it's another. There's it's just nonstop. And I keep trying to keep my sanity by distracting myself with one thing or another. But then I come down and I only have so many spoons. So, you know, I just, by the end of doing some of the dishes and wiping down counters and getting things ready for a possibility of making something in the kitchen today. I had to stop and get my thoughts out about the first video, which was about lack of education, right? That was at the beginning of this too. And people believing that they are educated and they can make educated opinions. Well, they can make opinions. Everybody's allowed an opinion. Like an asshole doesn't mean they need to share it. That isn't the saying. Mixing metaphors? Is that what I just did? Anyway. Oh, crap. There's a lot. There's a lot. so many people are hurting and I just keep trying to hold as much as I can my own just try not to add it back into the what the fuck that is 2020 again no Yeah. And that hurts, actually, when people 
trying to regulate my emotions and really because I'm pale presenting and my face leaks a lot for everything because you know you got to start somewhere and feeling them is the best way and I have been working my way through it as much as I still have tissue above my head I don't have to change it as often but part of it is learning to mask it hold it in not dump it on everybody else get your shit together Fucking life is pretty fucked up now for everybody. Like, oh, wow. Anyway, there's a lot going on for everybody. I should just be happy that I have, not that it's been tested, I'm actually kind of afraid to test it, but I should. Um, I have running water. Power, heat. I know where half my family is. Get to spend time with my granddaughter. One out of five isn't that right? So, okay. I may have planted things today. It's kind of neat this beautiful little bowl which is some form of antique bowl it actually says made in Japan on the bottom there used to be a full set they're different colors some of the colors are not pretty they've obviously been used in other situations there's an orange one a peachy orange one but it's like stained on the outside and I've tried to get it off and I'm usually pretty good with that kind of thing but anyway seeds um, brassicas, that's about all I can say. Um, maybe, maybe there might be beets. I don't know what's in here. It was a mix. It was a mix to begin with, and then other things got mixed in. And then it sat in the cupboard forever. So maybe they're not even viable seeds, but I threw them for birds. Because recently I've been getting little birds. So there's birds. So they get a little bit of uh, steel cut oat, um, broken up peanuts, which, you know, I crack and blow off the hull and then break up the, the peanut themselves. Jesus, I'm a fucking circus ride, hey? Or at least a merry-go-round. It's fun, fun, fun. Imagine being in here. Oh, bleh. Don't. It's, it's way worse than one of those rides where you're looking face down at the ground. Like, you're pretty sure you're not going to fall out. You've tried to fall out. Falling out doesn't work. So you just got to, like, scream. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> that face I just made will be the face that YouTube chooses to show. No, that one was good. The other one was not. But that one would be good. Anyway, I don't know how to do the timing thing. If I looked into it or paid attention more, maybe, but I have not. So, no clue. Oh, anyway. So, here's a little rant for Tuesday, March 22nd, I think. Anyway, yesterday I looked at my thing and it said it had been eight days since I posted last. Oops, sorry. I still have those other videos. Still haven't done anything with them. Everything just keeps blowing up 
left, right, and center. Huh. I'm sorry. I don't mean to make a a reference to. Oh, yep. Yeah, nope. So many things to make the tummy turn. Anyway, harmony, happiness, health, and hope. Right? From my home to yours. Yeah, just take a minute. To feel the feels, whatever they are. Okay, yeah, I gotta go. There's, if I decide to make bread or a cake, no, it won't be a cake. There's no eggs. Maybe I can get Neen to pick up eggs now. Then I'll be doing it tonight or tomorrow. Doesn't matter. Anyway, doesn't matter. If I do decide to do something, I'll bring you along for the ride, and I'll try to post it right away. Okay. Again, sorry. All those things. All these plans and I talk about what I have planned and then I don't give you what I said I was going to give you also part of my we I always do hand motions but I sit really close so I don't have to talk really loud I'm still talking louder than I'd like but I don't have to be like really really loud but because of this distance thing you never see anything maybe shadows I sometimes catch Anyway, it doesn't matter. I've already said goodbye. And uh, I'm going to go now. So, harmony, happiness. Woo! Harmony, happiness, health, and hope. Yeah, it's so hard to say some words. Now, ah, I'm going to do it again. Okay, bye for now.